Senator Perry Russom is live at the State House with more details. The House Speaker says the final proposal on road work still has to be written, but that should be done in the next week or two. This could all be finalized very soon. This newly released map from the governor proposing where the 14 tolls could be is going to be analyzed, scrutinized, and debated in the coming days. Well, now that the public's part of the discourse, has the information, I want to debate it. The first day of the new session for the legislature was overshadowed by an email from the governor's office showing a tentative plan for the tolls. I want to make it as, uh, as efficient for the taxpayers, as, um, as lean as it could possibly be. Pull, pull as much of the risk, if not all of the risk, out of it and, and move forward. We reached out to the Rhode Island Trucking Association for their views on this plan, and they sent us this statement. It reads in part, it should not have taken six months for this information to be released, and it begs many more questions, including the toll amounts at each gantry and whether or not these initial locations are situated on the most structurally deficient bridges. Representative Brian Newberry is the House Minority Leader. And of course, we'd like to see no tolls as well, though I do want to get, find some money in the budget to fix the bridges. So I will say that simply saying no without a sustainable proposal that will actually work over the long term is condemning our infrastructure to being last in the country objectively 20, 30 years from now. And one thing to keep an eye on is how quickly this all gets done. The Senate president says a form of the roadworks plan could be passed by the end of this month. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.